Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of Bucket Coding. In this episode, we're going to use the Particle Effect Library to make particle effects appear on top of players' heads. Um, this has been requested recently a lot. A lot of comments uh, have been asking me to make this. I think some of the other bigger servers do it, and a lot of people were curious how to do it. So I'm going to show you how to use this particular uh, library to do it. Uh, thanks to my friend over at the Developers Cove who actually showed me this library uh, that we're going to use, so uh, I'll also stick uh, his channel in the description, so thank you for that. Um, now, the first thing that you want to do in order to use this library is head on over to this um, Bucket Forms page, which of course will be in the description, and you can take a look at some of the important information here. And down here where we see classes needed, we're going to need to grab uh, two of these classes. Uh, first thing is the actual particle effect class. And you can choose the one for the version that you want. In this case, we're going to use 1.7. Hopefully this library will continue to be maintained for future versions, but uh, you know it could eventually become obsolete. So we're going to use the 1.7 version, which does work in 1.7.5, which is the latest version as of now that actually has uh, buckets. So Right here, you can see that we have this library with a lot of uh, code in it, 629 lines of code. Uh, we're going to go ahead and click right here where it says View Raw. This will just show it to you without all that extra stuff, so we can copy and paste it. Uh, we're going to go over to Eclipse to our project. I've gone ahead and called it In Love because we're going to have hard effects appear on top of people to show that they are, in fact, in love. Uh, let's go ahead and make a class, and that one would be called particle effect particle effect then you can just go ahead and select all and paste right on top of it only thing that you'll have to do is add your little package declaration that got deleted and otherwise we're good for there now we also need to grab this reflection handler class um, this class just uh, contains easy methods for getting different classes and constructors and things for, that works across different versions of Bucket. And this is going to be called Reflection Handler, I believe. Then we can, we'll just leave the package declaration in there, but paste everything else. No errors over there. And as far as these errors, you just need to do Command Shift O to import everything. And then you will be good because uh, these Reflection Handler th contains these things that we need. And now we're all good. So if you take a look up here, first of all, at all of these um, things in capital letters, you'll see that these are all the different types of particle effects that you can use. And on top of each one are some Javadoc comments that tell you what it looks like and where you would find it by default, how it would normally be displayed. And then you can go ahead and call on it. So uh, over here in the in love class or whatever you want to call your main Java plugin class, uh, in the on enable we're going to go ahead and schedule a repeating task uh, because when I you know go to display something it's going to display you know a couple one or two or three um, particles and then it will never do it again. So uh, we need to keep this on a loop so that it will continue to schedule or continue to uh, go. So we're going to do a repeating task of course. Um, and then this will be our runnable. First argument is this: the initial delay, which can be zero, and the second one we'll just set for one second because there is also the ability within here to uh, change certain settings about the particles, like how many will show up and uh, whatever. So now we want to go ahead and say for uh, player p, and in this case we're going to do bucket uh, dot get server dot get online players. Uh, we're just gonna. This is gonna apply to any player who's online. Uh, normally, you'd probably want to either keep an array list of all the players. Maybe if they run a command or if they have a permission, then then you would want run it. But in this case, we're just gonna quickly do this for everyone. So we're going to go ahead and say uh, to play an actual particle effect. Particle effect dot, and then you'll notice all these capital letters. Um, these are all of the different options. And in this case, you want to use the heart. Uh, so you'll see it'll make red hearts appear, and it'll normally be displayed when breeding. 
And if you go ahead and do dot, you'll notice that there are these uh, methods. We want to use the display method, and the middle one is probably the best. So um, as you can see, if you ever get confused hovering over it, it does have comments that explain everything, uh, so you can easily tell what you're supposed to put in. First thing that we want to do is the actual location where we want this to happen. So we're going to do player.getLocation, but we're going to go ahead and add 2 to the Y. And the reason why we're doing this is because um, we, if we want this to show up on top of the player's head, then we need to add 2 to the Y, so it'll go 2 blocks up from their normal Y position, and then it'll appear over their head. If you wanted this to appear at their feet, you would either maybe not modify Y or you know subtract a little bit from it, and then maybe even combine that with the player move event to have it spawn a particle uh, whenever they move. So uh, this is just to make sure that it goes above their head. Now the range is the visibility, so for how many blocks you have to be away for them to see it, I'm just going to go ahead and say 15. Now the offsets, we're going to go ahead and set all these to zero. That's the amount of um, blocks from which the, uh, where it can stray. So if this were 10, 10, and 10, then every time this happened, it would spawn at a random location uh, within 10 blocks X, Y, and Z of the current location, or the given location. So we want it to be zero, so it'll always spawn at that given location, and it won't just, like, spawn within a 10-block radius. That wouldn't look right. Uh, as far as the speed, uh, the speed is just, I guess, how fast you want them to show up, and we can just do 10 for that. And the amount is, I guess, just how many of these you want to show up, and I think 10 would also work. That's all we need to do. It's, you know, incredibly easy because they uh, handle a lot of the work behind the scenes, uh, but basically we're displaying it at above their head, and then we're giving it this other information. So let's go ahead and actually check it out in the game. So we're going to go ahead and export this plugin. Then we will go ahead and start up the server. And in the meantime, I'll get Minecraft started. Alright, so the plugin did work fine. So let's go ahead and actually join the server. Join our local host. And alright, so we are now over here. Let's go ahead and switch over to mode where you can see me. Alright, so we uh, have the disco armor from the previous episode here, but as you can see, if I stand still, um, every second a heart will show up above me. Now, if I move, the heart's not going to move with me, obviously, because once it's spawned, it'll just fly up a little bit and be done. But as you can see, hearts are currently uh, spawning right on top of me, uh, and that's pretty much all there is to it. I mean, you can obviously use a bunch of the different effects, and then you can also change a lot of other uh, settings, like the different offsets if you want it to spawn near, but not directly at a given player. Uh, that is, of course, always an option. Modifying uh, the location, like the Y value, you can have it spawn down at their feet, or way above them, or uh, wherever you really want it to go. So there's a lot of different things you can do uh, with this small library that only has a couple of methods. It's very cool. Uh, so that's all for this video. Uh, let's do some particle effects. This was a huge request, and I hope that I fulfilled this how you guys wanted and with enough detail. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.